Hey YouTube, Facebook, it's Zion Prepper. I do apologize for sounding stuffy, but the fact of the matter is I am sounding stuffy. Um, I'm going to conclude. I've done a couple videos on H5N1 avian bird flu uh, mutated virus. And this is in reference to uh, Kawaoka, who I've referenced, referenced before, and Foucher out of the ne Netherlands. And what they were doing is parallel researching on the uh, uh, H5N1 uh, variant flu virus and what they were able to do which was really scary is they were uh, able to make it um, airborne and when it goes airborne it's easily passed from human to human and it went airborne without making it less deadly so in other words th even though you know they made it airborne but it had the same potency as it did uh, as if it wasn't airborne which is not a good thing and there's an article, I've attached the link to it, it's from Scientific American, and it's called Contagion Controversy Erupts Over Man-Made Pandemic Avian Flu Virus. Um, as a scientist, I'm a very big fan of Scientific American. They do pretty good journal reviews before they publish them. This was published on December 9th of this year. And I would encourage uh, the YouTube prepper community and Facebook prepper community to uh, read this article because it does a couple things um, if first of all what it does is if this H5N1 variant um, flu virus was able to get out to the la out of the laboratory now that's extremely hard because they're clean rooms they're self-contained suits etc but it is mother nature anytime you're playing with mother nature it can absolutely do things you're not uh, expecting it to do so if it were to get out and because it is airborne it would have a mass effect um, on the human population the second thing, which is the one to really be concerned about, is the whole argument about the research that these two gentlemen are doing is the fact that should it be published or should it not be published. Um, traditionally, scientists have had free reign to decide if they want to publish their findings or not. There's a little bit of controversy around this article because if they publish it, what they're making available is a blueprint that any extremist organization, such as Al-Qaeda, um, or other organizations could use to make the H5N1 variant flu virus and um, once again it, they could easily easily proliferate that uh, throughout basically the world and um, of, of course it would affect the the el elderly and the weak first and then it would start uh, affecting us as well others who are healthy because of the potency of the virus so I'm not going to say much more on it take a look at this article I'm not going to publish anymore, but just please be aware of it. Zion Prepper saying thanks.